making prints. I mean, how much better does it get in life? They finally made printing easy. Anybody that's been around for a while and has been a part of my site knows that I'm really big on prints. And one of the things that I want to talk to you today about it is a new printer by Epson. This is the EcoTank ET8550 printer. Uh, it's a 13 inch width printer, makes 13 by 19 inch prints. And the reason why I like it is it's so simple and so easy to use that it now has become part of my workflow. And here at my house, I'm a printing maniac. If you're anything like me, you shoot a lot of pictures on your mobile device. Now, of course, my iPhone is hooked up to the cloud, so it goes to my iPad and everything else. I now have a very fast and efficient way to make prints instantly, wirelessly, anywhere from my house, anytime I want. Now, I'm really big right now on making four by six prints because this thing is so cheap. It can make a four by six print roughly at the cost of about four cents a print. So I'll talk more about that in a minute, but let's talk a little bit about this printer. First off, when you buy this printer, you'll get this printer all wrapped up in a nice package with a lot of blue tape. Anybody that's ever bought an Epson printer knows about the blue tape. So half the fun of buying a new printer is seeing if on the first go round, you can pull out and pull off all the blue tape that Epson uses on their printers. This printer took me probably 20 minutes to set up and charge and get ready to go. Uh, it was really, really simple. One of the things that have driven me crazy about printers is the fact that you have to use these cartridges and you just get these cartridges and they run out and you have to buy more cartridges. And by the end of the year, if you would have thrown all the cartridges into a trash can or a box and just left them there, you got a huge amount of waste, terrible amount of waste. And it just has always bothered me about uh, printing. And I think Epson's going places with this. And I think we're gonna see a lot of interesting things in this regard over the next few years. They went to these things where you get bottles and rather than buy ink cartridges, you take these bottles and you fill up these tanks. Right here is where all the ink cartridge bottles go. Essentially, you just take one of these ink bottles and it locks in place and twists and it dumps in there until it reaches a certain level. And even after I filled it up, I still have ink left over so that if I start running low, I can put some more ink in there. So uh, under typical use, use a bottle every year, every year and a half from what I've been told, depending on you know, how heavy you print. I've got a scanning platform here so I can do copies or scanning. So that's quite handy to have. I got a drawer down here that pops out for um, the paper tray and you're gonna see that work in a minute. It's electronic, it slides out kind of like the the doors on the Starship Enterprise. I have a USB and an SD card a slot here so that if I have images and I want to print, I can put either of those into those slots and make prints really easily right from the control panel here. It'll actually print collages or calendars or all sorts of crazy things. So actually you can make your own calendar from your own photographs, from images coming through the SD card or the USB slot and using the onboard uh, printing technology. It's so simple. I've never seen a printer work so easy. And now with Epson print layout and some of the other applications, the only variable you have to do is to pick the paper. It's the only thing that's really important. And because once you pick the paper and you're printing through these apps, they all talk to each other and you end up with good prints. Let's take a look at the uh, Epson print layout app. Um, you'll be able to take a look at this directly. And I'm added some pictures here already. And I get a control panel and it says first off under printer settings that I have the ET8550 selected. I have ultra premium luster in here. That's the Epson ultra premium luster paper, eight and a half by 11 paper source is auto. It's gonna come off the back here. And I have a uh, quality set for uh, higher quality uh, settings. So we're all set to go. And you can see here, I've got a landscape photograph with borders. I have a bus picture, I have another landscape picture, I have a portrait, and I have a fun picture of my wife. But let's take a look at this landscape picture. And one of the things that we can do is we can set how this picture looks prior to printing. For example, I can set the width. So if I want some white borders around it, I can move the width or the height back and forth until I manage to get it the way I want. I can take a look at the portrait one and do something very similar because I kind of want some bigger borders. Now you can print totally borderless on this also. So now we're ready to print. Now watch what happens. So if, once we're ready to print, we make sure we're on the network already and uh, we'll start with the landscape picture first. Make sure that everything is set the way we want it, which it looks good. 
and I hit print. Now you can see all of a sudden this thing's beginning to take off. Watch, this baby will um, kind of come out by itself. Ooh, isn't that cool? It's all wireless too. Remember, I haven't touched anything, so this is all being printed wirelessly over my home network. And this is a very fast printer, so see how fast now the print's actually coming out here? It's pretty cool. And it's gonna look beautiful when you see it. This printer over here is a 799 printer, cost $799, 13 inch printer. It's the P700, it's the Pro line. Built bigger, uh, it has more inks, and it's a different kind of ink set. Um, so it's more of a pro printer. I use this if I'm making um, my final prints and you can see it's loaded with 13 by 19 uh, inch paper. Uh, so I normally make fairly big prints. And of course, if I really wanna make my bigger prints, I go down to my, my studio and gallery and uh, down there I have four other printers. Now that print just came out just like that. So you can see uh, we've got a couple more prints to make, but look at the quality of that. That is pretty darn nice uh, for the first shot out not having to do anything. There's no monitors that I have to calibrate or anything. I'm printing from the file, from my iPhone, or in this case, my iPad, and I have great looking pictures. Now, one of the problems here with the iPad and Epson print layout, which I'm told may eventually fix itself, is you can only print one print at a time. It's not like you can select the whole batch to print and then walk away from it. On Epson print layout, if you're printing from your laptop or your desktop computer, you can ask and put them all in the same batch and they'll print that way. So I can do it either either way, but if I do it for my desktop, I can just say print all and walk away. Here I have to print each one when it, when it prints, um, but it's not really uh, that big a deal. There's a home printer for those people that uh, have nice cameras. They go out and photograph sporting events of their kids and uh, graduations and it's got longevity, but not archival, archival longevity. Um, and I'm sorry, it's kind of a nebulous term there, but for most people, that's all they're ever gonna need is what comes off this printer and the prints will last just fine as long as far as that goes. Okay, at this point, we have now made all the prints. It hasn't taken us that long to do. Uh, once again, we use the Epson print layout, which was really simple to do here on my iPad. You can download it for free so you can take a look at it. Quickly, we first did a landscape picture, which you can see looks really nice. The color is really nice. There's good detail in the shadow. Uh, it just looks good. I would have no problem with that as a print. Then this is just one that's really colorful. It's kind of goofy colors, but this is just something I did in my um, iPhone and some of the apps. This is a graffiti bus. I call it the magic bus, which sits in the middle of the Palouse. So, you know, I threw some textures on it and things like that. Uh, very nice, colorful print to have. Uh, this is a lone tree. Beautiful uh, rendition of this shot. Uh, easily, the color is fine. There's no off color. It looks just like it did on the screen. This is a, a portrait of um, one of Deborah's grandkids, and uh, it came out pretty darn nice looking too. And finally, here's a picture of Deborah a while back while we were playing around here in the basement, uh, and she made her first Lego. So this is a memorable experience. So uh, you can see that uh, it came out pretty cool too. One of the things you need to take into account when you're looking at this and going, well, it's $699. <laughs> Let me tell you, you know, a, a good portion of that price is making up the price of the ink that you would be buying on a cheaper printer over the next two or three years. You know, you, these cartridges will last quite a long time down here. And, uh, when you do buy a new one, you're, you're, you're saving a ton of money and saving a, a ton of ink cartridges. And more than that, as far as uh, the environment goes and everything, you're putting a lot less plastic into the, the landfills. And like I said, I think you'll see Epson and other printers go to this kind of technology uh, in the near future. Bottom line is you're not gonna find a printer as nice as this for the price of this and as easy to use as this. I've just been amazed at the quality of prints that I've been getting out of it. It's way up there, two thumbs up uh, for this printer. Um, I'm not gonna give up my P700 and my archivable links and especially the printers down at the studio, but this allows me to work at home, work in my spare time, make prints in my spare time. I'm now making a lot more family prints and things like that for uh, our collection here. We have big boxes of prints all throughout the house because I'm very big on being able to sit down at the coffee table and open up a box and people can pass pictures around. Uh, I'm not big 
on using the iPad. Well, I have a lot of pictures on my iPad. An iPad is me or somebody sitting next to me. I can't really pass 10 iPads around so people are looking at pictures all at the same time. I can do that with a box of pictures. So make your prints, use a printer that's easy to use, get into printing. If it scared you up to this point, there's no more reason to be afraid of printing. It's always a lot of fun when you make a picture and you get it out in your hands. So anyway, this is Kevin Raber, and I want to say thank you for watching this video. If you've liked it, please remember to subscribe to our site. Uh, we really could use some more subscribers on our YouTube. There's a little bell button if you want to be notified when new videos come up. And don't forget photopxl.com, where there'll be an accompanying article for this video, as well as Rockhopper Workshops, where we announce all the workshops that we're doing. KevinRaber.com, where you can see all the pictures that I've made for many, 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 many years. And Raber Eyes, where if you like any of these photographs, you can purchase them right online in a very clever storefront technology. Once again, thank you very much for being part of PhotoPXL, and uh, we'll see you next time.